mainly that a student must have one calendar year of medically documented testosterone suppression therapy to be eligible to participate on a female team. The ACLU of Wisconsin is now railing against state lawmakers who reintroduced two bills excluding transgender students in elementary, high school, public colleges and universities from participating in sports teams consistent with their identified gender. When this type of legislation was first introduced a couple of sessions back, it didn't get much traction. And the WIAA said at the time they didn't have any complaints regarding transgender athletes. Governor Tony Evers has said in the past he plans to veto the bills, but Two Rivers Republican Shea Sortwell told me his colleagues are going to press the issue. My platoon sergeant when I was in the military, she could have run circles around me. But we're not comparing middle of the road people to middle of the road people in the average person. We are talking about the elites when you're talking about sports, you're talking about who can be the best. And when you're talking about the, the physical capabilities, uh, biology matters. The ACLU counters and says this is about what's best for all kids, and research shows young people benefit from participating in athletics. Dr. Melinda Brennan, executive director of ACLU Wisconsin, went on to say that lawmakers should tackle the real issues with gender parity in sports, including unequal funding resources, pay equity, and more. Promoting baseless fears about trans athletes does nothing to address those fundamental problems. I spoke with the group's advocacy director via Zoom earlier today. The fight isn't really about sports. Um, I think nationwide we've seen this coordinated effort um, just trying to erase um, and exclude trans people from participation in, in all aspects of public life. And sports is just one of those, those examples. We have more on the topic, including extended interviews and the complete WIAA policy on our website right now at wearegreenbay.com.